Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and test your first project using Typical Business Works version 635. So let's get started. At this first project, I will elaborate a simple process where I will be writing along with a message and date. Let's create a new project here. You have to be sure first that you are at the correct perspective design. Design is the default perspective when you open the typical. So to create a new project, you have to go to File, New, Project, choose Business Work Application Model, give a name, and finish. When you create a new project and process empty, you will see that we already have a red X here. That means that we already have an error related with this process. So you can go to the tab problems and check what is the error. So this is normal when you create an empty process. So it's just telling you that we have a process that has to be implemented. At the right side, you can see that we have a palette library where you can choose the activity that you want to use inside your process. To start, we need to choose a process starter activity. So I'm choosing one from general activities. That is called timer. So I just need to click on the activity that I want and drop inside my empty process. How do I know it is a start activity? Because we have this symbol here at the bottom right side in green and arrow. So all the activities that have this means that they are a starter activity. The time activity is used to start the process at a specific time. Here under the properties general, you have two fields. One is start time, contains the day and time to start the process. And another one is run once, indicates the process should be run only once on the day and time indicated by the start time. You can also specify the process to be started periodically if you want. You just need to go to the properties here and uncheck the run once and then you can specify the process as you want. So now let's insert the next activity that we need to write a log. We have three ways to do that. The first one is use your mouse, right click and choose to add activity to the list. General activities, log. You can see that when we do that, we don't have the transition between the activities, so you have to add it manually. One way to do that is choose this symbol here. That means that uh, exactly to create the transition, bring here and create the link. The another way and the way that I prefer is to select the activity. Then you see that we have two symbols here. One of them is exactly to drag and create the transition between activities. So you just need to click on that and create the link. So that was one way to create the second activity. So the second way to do that is you can choose the activity from here from the pilot you can just drag here like actually I did it to the timer so but right now I wanted to create the link automatically so I just needed to get close when you see the arrow you just click on again and release and you can see that activity was created and the link is also there. The third and last one, and actually the one that I prefer is, when you select here, I also show you guys how to create the transition between actives through this symbol. So, but we have another one. The another one is exactly to create a new activity. When you use here, 
you will be adding automatically the transition. So you just click on that, drag, release, and choose the activity that you want. Here we go. We can save our project now. And you will see that now the error is at the log. So the problem is we have to add some configuration at the input. So let's do this. Go to the properties, select the activity that you want, and now we can see that exactly where it is the red X is exactly the point that you have to implement it. So this means that this variable here is required. So let's insert something here. We can go to the functions and you can see that we have a list of functions that you can use. So what I'm think to do is to use a concat where I can write the message that I want here like a first typical test. So the second string, since we added here a timer, we have an output with the date, time, everything that we want. So let's choose the date, for example. You can drag and drop here, right. So you can see that is in red, so this means that we have an issue here. Typical has a nice way to fix that. So we can see here, fix type casting errors. You just need to click on that and you will see that the error was gone. So Typical fix that for you automatically. Let's save our project and you will see that the problem is gone. Let's do a test now. Menu, run, debug configuration. Here, under Business Work Application, we can select the projects that you want to test and give a name. So, in our case, we can choose first test and here you can select the project that you want to be part of this test. In my case because I just have one project here open so that's why I just can see one and apply and now we can run. So the process is starting. You can see that we change it automatically to the debug perspective. And here we go we have this message here that means that everything was started successfully and also the log that we created and uh, you can check your process through here also so this means that the green auto the process went through here and finished with success Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit optica.com for more video tutorials.